everyone, the Mechanic Man 92 here. It's the same day that I made uh, my previous ending of the video. Um, it's raining. It's raining a lot. Well, not really a lot, but uh, anyway, um, it's actually like two seconds after I fi last finished the last video. Anyway, super excited about the hopefully new job. Uh, should be no problems with my background being checked, so it should be all cleared. And I don't do drugs, so the drug test should uh, be good too. Anyway, I did get a couple tools today, so I'll show you what I got. So the first thing, uh, as you all know, is I wanted some uh, impact uh, adapter sets. I looked at the one from Harbor Freight. The one from Harbor Freight looked all rusted and shit. So, didn't do that even though it was like $14 or something like that. It had like um, two more pieces than this, but whatever. Um, so, I just went with this one. This is a Duralast. Got this from uh, AutoZone. It was literally right next, pretty much right next door to my Harbor Freight. So, I got that. Um, really all I wanted was, uh, hard to do one-handed, but, there we go. This one right here, this is the, uh, 3 8 to half-inch drive adapter. I've been wanting that so that I can, uh, just fully test out my, uh, Milwaukee 3 8 drive fuel, uh, 12 volt impact wrench. So, be on the lookout for a video of it that soon where I try and uh, take the lug nuts off my car. I know that some people said that they've been able to do that with it, but we'll take a look at that. Anyway, like this set because it's uh, color coded a little bit, but um, this like bluish purplish color is for the quarter inch to three eighths. The uh, orange one are both 3 8 drive. You have the 3 8 to um, quarter inch adapter, 3 8 to half inch adapter. And then the green, you have your half inch drive, which is half inch to 3 8 then half inch to 3 quarters. Um, these are chromoly, so better quality than uh, the uh, chrome vanadium. And made in Taiwan so happy about that um, feels like pretty good quality I guess um, I will make a video about this one pretty soon Pro I might get it done this week I'm not sure it all depends on how things end up going uh, this set right here cost me $22 um, you want to know the number, it is let's see, 70383, a five piece impact grade adapter set. So, looking forward to this. Next thing I got is this right here. This is the uh, Craftsman Extreme Grip Socket Set, eight piece, fits uh, 16 inch metric sizes. You have the Three eighths. Oh, let's see if I can get that to focus. Uh, focus, fucker. And come on. Uh, you have three eighths and ten millimeters, seven sixteenth, eleven, five thirty seconds to twelve, half inch thirteen, nine sixteenths fourteen, five eighths sixteen. 11, 16, 17, 3 quarters inch, 19. Um, it says it's up to 14 times more gripping power on rounded fasteners. Um, I'll show you in a close up of these little grooves and serrated jaws for gripping rounded fasteners. And um, there's these little collars, these black collars right here. They, um, I guess, move the jaws down. That way you can easily release a fastener but let's go with the uh, what was this, 19 I think yeah 3 fourths 19 we'll just go with that one for a close-up 
Um, let's try to find the material. Oh, lifetime warranty, and if you want it, it's uh, 947260. Um, made in China. Uh, let's see. Serrated jaws for gripping rounded fasteners. Release color allows to easily disengage of sliding jaws. Eh, whatever. Um, each of them, it seems like, have their own part number. So you can see right there. This one is 41884AF. So basically, it's the collar. And then there's the three jaws, and each of them. Well, I don't know if I can get a close up of the jaws. But, Anyway, I wish I had a flashlight, but there are three, they're, they're groove jaws. Wish I could show you better. Yeah, there you go. See the groove jaws. You know, grooved. So what you do is when you get, you're done with the fastener to release the jaws, you, uh, pull back on this collar and as you can see the jaws kind of go back in um, so use these pro probably use these for emergencies like if a fastener is extremely rounded then I would probably use these or uh, more rounded than others I would probably use these um, but I don't I would definitely not use this for an every fastener application only for pretty much emergencies so here's set right here it's on a socket rail fucking hate these socket mill socket rails like the ones that um one that I got from cobalt with this those trays I like those better but whatever um, these will work fine for now um, yeah, so these are the two tools that I got. All right there, and this right here. This one right here cost me, I think it was like $29 or something like that. Yeah, $29 plus tax. Um, I had $8 in Shop Your Way rewards, so it cost me like $22 plus tax, $23, what something like that. But yeah, those are my uh, new tools right here. Can't wait to use this one right here. Definitely show you guys that. Anyway, uh, like like this video. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.